This is Brickhead Boy Toy Reviews. I got my package from the post office, which came from Battle Brick Customs. Here's the contents of the box. I have a minifigure with some minifig stands, vest, and an awesome T-72 Russian battle tank. Here's my invoice. So there was a 10% uh, discount, which I took advantage of, and pretty much it pays for the shipping cost, plus a little bit more. So before opening this beast, let's take a look at the other two things. First off is the minifigure and my uh, minifig stands. These are from Sedan Toys and got some nice camo vest as well. Free weapons came along with this. Really cool. So the minifigure is pretty much all Lego. Uh, the head as well. Probably the accessories, not sure. Uh... However, the vest, I'm not so sure what brand it is, but I like the camo on that. Even the back has camo as well, and the minifigure has some printing on the back. Here's the minifigure in full gear, and there's a Russian flag along with another printing, and the vest has printing as well. Weapons included are just a couple. You have a bazooka and a machine gun. And now on to the main part of this shipment is this tank, T-72 Russian battle tank, 459 Lego pieces plus 116 custom track, ages 12 and up, by Battle Brick, play with honor. And on the back of the box, you get other sets as well. The Abrams is really good. I have the SWAT, but I haven't opened it. The Sherman is really good. The Panzer is good as well. German Bunker is decent. I have that. I do not have the helicopter. But anyways, let's open this up. With the box emptied out, you have just a cardboard insert. You have your instructions on paper and one bag of your pieces. With the bag open, there's your pieces and you have your minifigure separately. Separated along with these custom track links. Kind of curious to see these before the build. Let's take a look. So here's what the track links look like. And by Sedan Toys. I think the detailing is very good. The shaping of it anyways. And I did batches of 10 each. So 10 tracks. And this is just like. The Abrams tank, which was three wide, except this is only two wide. So same concept. I believe it's by the same uh, sedan toys as well. So you can... You can't flex them outward, but inward. Totally flexible. I think they're very good. So we'll see how this works on the tank. I had just enough, plus two extra ones. And one of these are actually... A bad batch so i had one defective one there's nowhere to hook but this is my extra one here and not bad two extra track link out of all these anyways let's build it
here's the battle brick kit complete. There's your tank, your minifig. You have one extra piece I could not find where it goes. And of course your two track link extra. One is good, one is bad. Here's your instructions. And of course with custom kits, uh, the second paragraph is why are your kits so expensive? And that explains it all with this one, battle brick. Brick Mania, Armor Brick, same thing is because they are hand sorted. The instructions were simple, easy to follow, basic uh, illustration with your pieces and how many you need, the quantity, the steps. There are a few little flaws in this instruction book, however. The first one here being on um, step 31, it looks fine. And then step 32, you add these plates on top and there is no, um, nothing to support it. So just ignore that because that goes on later. Just put it aside if you're building this. Once you place those plates aside and you build this piece, you put those plates on these right here, the one by six and the four by six right here. So they go there. The second flaw here is you need these pieces to do that, and it shows that this plate piece here goes on top. However, it's supposed to go on the bottom as shown in the picture, so just be aware of that. And lastly, this black piece right here, that piece there, it shows its position that way, but on the box, it's complete opposite. So I just did it according to the box. And even on the picture itself, it shows on the other side. So I just did that. This is the right way, I believe. And this is what it shows in the instruction. So I like the other way better. Anyways, let's move on to the minifigure. So here's your minifigure. Very simple, but it looks good. With the accessories taken off, here's your minifig, just like the one I bought separately. Uh, same torso printing, even the back has a little bit. And now let's move on to the tank. The tank looks really good. I like the camo on this one. Battle Break really doesn't do much camo, so this tank is kind of unique in a way. Um, most of their tanks are either tan or dark bluish gray. So this combines them both and looks very good. So there are a few pieces that are custom, of course, by third-party companies like the Track Links. And this here, I think, is from Sedan Toys. And also there is a piece in here. It's a bar that's also custom as well. So the bar piece is about two and a half studs long, and it works well. Uh, these hold pretty good. So these are fuel drums, fuel containers, and you have armor on the side. Looks very good, even on the front. Have your headlights. And some grill pieces on here. Turret can rotate a 360 with you lifting the cannon up. And speaking of that, can you depress it slightly down? Over here, even some more, and it can go straight up in the air. There are a couple of hatches here. You can open and close. And I like the detailing on this. Looks good. Um, not sure what that is. It's a lot of T-72s have this one here, this uh, detail. You have your smoke dispensers on the side each, and Probably those are two as well. Let's take a look at the bottom. That's what it looks like. And really not much to it here. There's one small feature here where you can just sort of open this up if I can. And so you have somewhat of an interior. Let's see if your minifig can fit in here. So he can fit, and that 
can go on. So, yeah, you have an interior, sort of. Looks good. And let's see if he fits with the armor on. And not all the way down. Sticks out a lot. Let's try the other side. Nope. Yeah, he just sticks out too far up. But at least there's hatches. I'm glad for that. So one thing I want to point out about this tank, it has good, like I said, camo to it. Um, but it's a little bit too high in my opinion. The size skirt should be lower. And to fit with my 132, 135 scale, it should be two studs wider, 10 studs wide, which I'll do a comparison with other T72s and comparison with this to the Abrams in a moment. So that's the only thing I'm griping about right now is just the width and the height. It's a little bit too high and not wide enough for a T72. So let's see if the treads roll. And this is hard surface, but a little bit smooth. So it rolls pretty good. These two track, two wide track links are very good. I like them a lot. So now let's do the comparison. Here's your T72 and here is your Abrams from Battle Brick. So the size comparison is that Abrams is way bigger than that. Uh, realistically, the T-72 is a, just a bit smaller, but not this small compared to the Abrams. And this Battle Brick kit is about the same size, a little bit bigger than Brick Mania and Armor Brick and Batist Brick. So, but they fall on the same scale. This, however, I think is not 135 scale it's probably a 140 scale so let's scale this with the rest but first let's do a side by side comparison abrams again and your t72 yeah so you can see it's only 10 wide compared to 12 studs plus the side skirts so the body is just 10 studs wide battle break t72 versus Brickmania T90. So they use the same type of color camo. The T90 uh, Tang LMS is kind of small, but it's still bigger than this T72, as you can see. It's wider as well, side by side. So from the length of the track, they are about the same, but again, the T72 is a lot higher. And on to the T72 comparison. Again, this is, sits way too high up, too tall and too narrow. Um, there's your armor brick and brick mania. Brick mania one's tad bit longer than armor brick, but then the battle brick one is a little bit shorter too as well. Again, it's just the the width is narrow compared to these two. Now let's compare the height. Armor Brick 1 makes it look really good. Really uh, low down. Low profile. And then this one is just looks too high. Almost like a uh, World War II Churchill. So with this tank, I like it a lot. like the camo. The turret is good. It's the right size. Uh, compared to these, it's, it's the same. Pretty much... Uh, close to it on scale but i have to fix the body of the tank anyways let's conclude this review so out of the battle brick vehicles this is the second most expensive uh first one being the abrams this being the second and having almost um 600 pieces it's a pretty good kit for what you pay less than 200 a little bit over 150 so out of my Battlebrick kits, 
just the ones I have uh, based on the vehicles on tanks. This would rate number two, one being the Abrams. This is the second favorite kit of mine from Battle Break. And the third would be the Sherman. Fourth would be the Bradley. And fifth would be probably the Panzer. So, so this one is a really good kit by Battle Break. And the camo especially, which they haven't done yet for vehicles like this. It stands out compared to the rest when i put it up for display you'll notice this compared to the rest of the kits as far as a t72 this pretty much you can tell what it is and battle brick does not focus on realistic uh looks i mean they do to a certain extent but you can tell what it is and their focus more is on playability and the uh, sturdiness of the kit which is really good playability is good sturdiness is good the looks of it however could be fixed uh, make it 12 studs wide plus the side skirts and give it a little bit more lower profile if possible but for the kit what you get for it it's really good again i keep saying that uh, with the minifig and you have your custom track link which is a plus. I like these uh, two wide track link. And of course you have your Russian uh, secondary weapon. So all in all, I think this kit is worth it compared to other companies out there. This is a pretty good deal. That's all I got to say about this. Uh, worth buying. And if you do, just check out those instructions where there's a flaws in there and it's easy to overcome this brickhead boy thanks for watching so i finished modding this it took me less than an hour and it is now 12 studs wide and two studs longer so two studs wider and two studs longer i really didn't use that many more pieces however i did take off uh, a few so these are the pieces i took off because instead of a 6x10 i use a 6x12 and this one I substitute this with a 12 by 6 and or actually 12 by 4 and then these here I substituted with um, the three wide pins instead so on the bottom you can see that I use these lift arms to uh, give the tracks more of a one stud wide each and it makes the tank wider but the base itself is the same on the original one it ends here with this plate on mine here's the plate i added um a tile a one by three so it is extended by two more studs out here and since i extended the back out right here there is nothing but i ended up using those hinge pieces and putting a bar on the back the turret is exactly the same I didn't uh, modify it one bit and let's take this off so you can see where I added the tiles at so it's eight studs wide here versus six in the front of the old one better look at the front and same concept you can remove this to reveal the interior and still room, but just two studs more wide and even moves along just like the old one. So I was not able to make it a lower profile. Um, wanted to keep the basic build of the kit and all I did was just widen it. So the, uh, the height is the same. And I really, like I said, didn't take many pieces out and I just added some more. So with it being wider, it doesn't look as tall. And we'll do a comparison with the other T72s in a moment. So there's the back again. And it just looks better in my opinion. So again, Battle Brick Abrams and your T72 modded version. Compared to the Abrams, this is way better um, comparison and 
more realistic. Again, Abrams and your T72. One more shot. Again, your armor brick, your battle brick, and brick mania. So now they uh, scale well with one another. You can see here, very close in scale. And like I said, I couldn't get the height lowered or the tank lowered, so still retains the same height, but again, it doesn't look as bad or uh, unproportioned as before. So last look on the back. So that concludes my mod to this awesome tank, already awesome tank. And my opinion, I think I made it better. Uh, fits and scale more well with the other tanks I have. Leave a comment in the comment section if you have anything to say about this, whether good or bad. This Breakhead Boy, thanks for watching.